Alright guys, we got a very special video today. So for those of you all that enjoy the towers, this is probably going to be a fun video. There's bigger and better towers that are on its way, but this is a $2,000 tower that you see in front of you. It's well guarded as you can tell. Now we have these on the side that have the 50 chips. That right there should fall down pretty easy. And then if you look in the very back, we got a bunch of cash loaded up. So the rules of today was $500 to do a buy-in. We have 20 minutes to play. So 20 minutes, $500. However, I did have a $100 buy-in chip that I utilized today, so it actually only cost me $400. But outside of that, it should be a fun video. Um, enough of the long intros. We're just going to get into playing, have some fun. And uh, this is what $500 got me. So the only thing I got to do is just get to a nice, even spot then we'll go ahead and start let's see three two one all right here we go ah uh, that was not the best start in the world so we got the wood cam running we got the uh, Will power the, the want to get this thing off. Now we just gotta get it off. I moved a little bit. It helps that they make that tower a little bit taller. That way it's a little easier to fall, I guess. But I mean with those quarters around it, that's a heck of a structure to sort of hold it in place. So one of the things I get asked a lot is why is there no background music? And the reason is I normally ask them to turn the other games off so it doesn't interfere with the video, but I've noticed that kind of bothers people, so if it seems kind of loud, it's because all the games are on in here. And this is what it normally sounds out, even with my lapel mic on. And I do wear a lapel mic, that takes down some of the noise as well. But just let me know if having this running. Does it distract you or do you like that? So 20 minutes. We got 20 minutes to okay. bare minimum try to get our money back. None of the towers have failed yet. All right, let's see. There we go, that's what we needed. Oh, first tower down. Twenty minutes is actually a decent amount. Normally they do 15 minutes, but uh, 20, I'm, I'm pretty confident that we can There we go. So you can't really get a good visual of the back side of, of the tower, but it's starting to fall apart. Oh, and that went on top. Not good. We just lost 50.
There we go. Come on, baby. quarters start coming off uh oh, load up the chute. So far anything we've gotten back is a big point. I need to adjust the loop cam so you all get a better visual on that. Take a minute to thank my sponsors of today's video, Winner Winner. If you haven't downloaded Winner Winner, you definitely could do me a huge favor by using the link in the description of this video. Download Winner Winner, play a real claw machine from your smartphone, and we'll try to ship to you. And thanks so much for Winner Winner for sponsoring today's video. So that, that is really pushed up there. I, I don't know. All right, last uh, couple quarters here. All right, let's go collect. in there, not much. $2,000 inside that tower. Silver Strike, for those of you all that enjoy racing games, there is some new 
games that are on that now. Thank you all for the joy. Kind of get you all active. I don't want to spoil what it is, but. Look forward to that coming up. All right, so it is leaning against the chute or the glass last quarter. Turn in quarters that time. Excellent. Oh, it fell! Check it out. I can't believe it fell. I seriously thought this was going to be two, three videos before I could get that thing down. So, the good is down on the ground. The bad is that's a lot of chips that are worth no kind of money in the way of it, but that's okay. It's going to kind of hurt with the pullouts, but awesome. That, that is awesome. Boy, they built that thing like a fortress, and it didn't help out at all. We're we in uh, about 10 minutes of ball. 10 minutes to go, less than 10 minutes. Filming this, guys, is September 11th. I put a post up on Facebook and YouTube about my little story about 9 11. I just want to wish everyone out there, first responders, and hospital staff, and law enforcement, and everybody, just how grateful our military absolutely thankful for everything that you all done proud to be a veteran and definitely proud of our men and women of on forces so thank you so much all right so we are almost out of quarters that's it right there Oh, goodness gracious, look at all. I don't mean to take time to show that, but all the way up to that huge return. And it's going to keep on staying that way. All those quarters that were stacked up. All right, I can't afford to do that. Ah, uh, see, now there's the chips that are going to start being in the way. Just make the pulls a little bit harder. And... The 500 chips are heading to the dead zone. That's another bummer. Sheesh.
I am close to being emptying that cup out. on Showtime called The Good Lord Bird. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's about John Brown. And John Brown's very relevant to where I am at because Harper's Ferry, the armory that he took hostage, is right near my house. And I spent a lot of time in my life in Harper's Ferry. What a good series. What an interesting fella. Obviously, you know, Hollywood puts its spin on it, but very interesting fella. I he was actually hung, trialed and hung in uh, Charlestown, West Virginia, which is where the Charlestown Casino is. Hollywood Casino actually is what it's called. It used to be called the Charlestown Casino. So we are down to about, what, four minutes, something like that. Uh, it's getting low, it's getting there. I'm trying not to focus too much on the time. I'm just trying to focus on playing as smart as I can. Uh, it's not looking too good for the 500 chips. That's okay. All right, so this is coming up on our last handful of quarters. Then we have to go down there and battle with those casino chips that mean nothing. But we'll do this quickly. We're getting super close on time. So. All right, let's go here. Oh, no. Oh, man. we have the loot cam so you can see the battle that I had trying to get it out of there I probably spent way too much time down there because we're getting super close in time I'll take the L on that one down to a minute 15 been enough quarters in there to fill an entire cup up. No exaggeration. Coming up on 45 seconds left in today's game. And the 
irony of it is the 500 chips are starting to make their way around. I'm still not 100% sure whether we got one or not. What an amazing battle. Oh, there's a 10 stuck in the chute, so there's another $10 added. Remember, we gotta get $500 back. I'm not exactly sure. All right, we're down to 15 seconds. And this will be the end of today's playing. That's it, that's time. Oh, come on, baby. Big second wave. Oh, so stinking close. So many things right there on the edge. Goodness gracious. All right, so let me go down here and uh, let's go ahead and collect and then we'll go from there. But this is how many quarters that are left over. They're getting ready to come up with the game that each quarter is going to be worth a value, um, just not on this particular game, but they are going to be having a new game that that is a option. Let's do a quick recap of today's game. Today was a $500 buy-in. Had a $100 buy-in chip, so that put me $400 out of pocket. It was a 20 minute time limit. There was $2,000 in chips. Unfortunately, we didn't get any of those, but let's find out how well we did. First and foremost, this is the quarter return. That is amazing. I, I don't even, I can't even begin to take a guess how many quarters that is. But when the game comes in, that each quarter means a, do a dollar figure at the end of it, this will have been an awesome day for that. So we'll start off with our cash return. So $500, let's start off with this, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, $140 in cash back. So now let's go over here. So $240, $340 plus another $50. So that puts us at $390 as a return. Technically, we're down $110, but if you count the buy-in chip, we're only negative $10. So hey, it is what it is. I could have done better, but at least I'm not too far in a negative. Let me know what you thought of today's video with me having them leave all the machines on. Also, let me know if you like the fact that we didn't do a long intro that we got right into the game. I've had a lot of you all tell me that you end up skipping through my intros. So instead of making you all do that, I figured let's just start getting into the game after I explain the game rules. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, you can hit that like button. Definitely lets me know that you enjoy it. Subscribe to the channel, uh, follow me on Facebook, and outside of that, have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with me, and I will see you soon, guys. Thanks for watching.